Oh my gosh, this is it right here. There's a small hole. I can't really see anything on the other side. Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna be playing Sally Face. This is a game that came out a while back. But uh, I've seen good reviews about it, and I think I've seen a couple of actually gameplays on it. So I decided, why not? Let's go in and check it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. It was just like the last time. I apologize for my voice in advance. I am a little hoarse. Only this time it started in a hospital. Oh, yeah. This, yeah, this is creepy already. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Uh, let's say who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird sounding like my dad. Okay, we're going to ignore the part where, like, your face is looking like this. It's like something's there, but it's too dark to see. Something's weird. Where are we looking at? Okay. Well, we won't worry about it. Did the lights turn off or something? Dude, why, do I, why does my face look like that? Turn the light on. Whoa, 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 hold on. But the dog, what was the dog doing? I didn't pay that mind to it. Or oh, a key. A key. All right, so we have stuff, gold, question mark. Okay. We've got a key now. Cool. Let's unlock the door and get up out of here then. What? Did I just come from there? Okay. I'm not liking this. Let's go through D. Oh. Uh... N O M N. Let's go through N. Okay, so D was wrong. Uh, so that was wrong. D. Wait, maybe we're supposed to spell door. D O G H E. Maybe we're spelling dog. Yeah, that was it. Okay, dog. Some. We're at a funeral now. The funeral for me. It's a good doggy. It was a good boy. I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Oh, Lord. What are we talking about, bro? Diane Fisher, mother and wife. Climb down into the grave is crazy work. Let's check it out. Batteries not included. Locked. Passcode. Uh, can I just exit out? So we just fried it by pressing E, okay? This gotta be our dad. Dad, you are not my son. My son is not a murderer. This is your, this is your fault. Oh, pause, what's about to happen? Mom, are you? What the? And that's when I woke up. Um, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come to that dream later. Come back to that dream later. But for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about the place right away. So is this this got to be real life. All right, so this is real life now. Cool. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Dude, the music is so eerie. And it, am I a chick? There's Sal's room, Dad's room. Sal's room. Leave. Okay, so this is me. This is my room. I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. It must be nice. Okay, so we have a cat. Gear boy? I was wondering where that was. Okay, I just decided to pick that up. Cool. I wonder what's wrong with my face. Like, why do we hide it? Can we go in Dad's room? You have anything in here? Oh, hey, kid, I decided to take a break from my packing. That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. Uh, what do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks, and then you'll be able to make new friends. So, is this a... Do, am I a guy or a girl? 
Yeah, I guess so. I know, so anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. uh, I miss Mom. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Try not to get in too much trouble. All right. You have a coin behind you. Let me get it. All right. Never mind. Yeah, I'm like I'm thinking hard that I'm a dude. Just the way like my dad talks to me and everything. Bathroom. Let's go in here then. Anything I can grab? Sleep aid. That still has trouble sleeping at night after. Da da da. Bags. Just some stuff that I got from the store. Nothing important. Uh, you know, I want to check everything before we we head out and find out about the strange neighbors that the chapter is talking about. Sal's place, elevator. Uh, hello. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting those little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. What the? Now scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy gama. <laughs> what does it look like, dude? I was the law, you better sh so you better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Police business, kid, why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that wise? Uh, nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weird kid, grumble, grumble. All right, walk away. I can't walk by you either, so. Alice's place. No one's home. Me knocking on somebody's door is crazy. I can't lie. I would never. Me, personally. Let's go on the elevator. What floor am I on right now? I'm on floor four. Let's go up to five then. Let's go to the top floor and see what we have. Uh, lock. Okay, it's getting creepy. We just went to somebody's right. Dude, going in people's places is crazy. Hello, sorry. I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir. Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... A dark place, this building, horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? What the? Oh yeah, we already, uh, it's already getting weird, dude. Bathrooms, that's where the bathroom door is locked. Somebody knocked up here, didn't they? I don't know if I wanna go here anymore. 503 is locked. 502 is locked. This will be 501, but it's locked. Okay. Let's get up out of here then. I'm not feeling this at all. Four is our floor. Let's go to three then. Maybe this one's not as creepy. Okay. Can't do nothing there. No one's home. Hello, the cleaning lady. Hey, oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? A lot of excitement going on today. I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place, keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. No one's home. All right, so we met Lisa. She seems pretty cool. Let's go to number two. We need a key card to get to the basement. I just realized that. I no one's home at 203. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I just want to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Charlie. Oh, don't. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the heck is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of sex exploration. I was young. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything, you're not in a gang, are you? No, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't miss my stuff, and we'll be okay. I'm a collector. You see, I collect many things. These things are like my family. So if you miss my collections, you're missing my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Dude is uh. So, yep. I know you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and talk and take in all of it again, okay? That's what you got. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. You live here alone, alone, look around you. I have all my company I ever need. Well, it's nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Okay, be right back. All right, we'll leave you, dude. Let's look at everything. Bask in the glory of my complete slit set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. 
What's a glitter pony? <laughs> what the freak? My god, child, have you never seen my glitter ponies? <laughs> the most spectacular, it's only the greatest te television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, other oh, ponies, don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I have to look for it on TV. And yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Bro, that was the stupidest thing ever. That's like, uh, I guess the bronies is a fun take on them. That was, that was too funny right there. I can't lie. <laughs> His face was. No one's home at 2.02. Hmm, I guess no one is home. Okay, why? I thought I heard something. Sound like static or something. All right, let's go to one. Sue's so around here. Addison. Oh dear, what a frightful uh, part of me. Let's start over. <clears throat> Hello, young sir. New reason of uh, Addison Apartments, room four hundred two. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? Oh, I know. I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Evans, though, I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. I was home at 104. Police officer, what's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? Can't talk about that. Bye. So long. Okay. So it was murder, basically. That's literally what it was. Somebody got murdered right beside us. No one's home. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? She looks rough. Sally face. Err. Stupid good for nothing kids. Grumble, grumble. Dude, like, everybody in here hates life, actually. Charlie might be, like, the only... I wouldn't even say normal one. It's like... I don't know, cool with us. Okay, we're four or two. Let's see. Maybe we can start doing something at our house. My gear boy looks like it needs new batteries though. Okay, so we need to find batteries. Maybe we can talk to our dad again. We done checked everything out. He's still standing here. Hey kiddo. Gonna get in too much trouble. Explore the building. Like, I literally checked everything out. What's in the, Like, what else do I need to do? I haven't got to the basement. That's the only thing I couldn't do. Okay, you need a key card. Let's... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go back to four. I mean, five. It's got all the way, all the way up to five. Again, yeah, maybe something creepy is going to happen. Locked. Anything here I can mess with? And the bathroom's still locked, okay. Still can't do nothing with any of these. Over here, maybe? No. Over one, no locked. All right, this floor is currently being renovated. Oh, okay. So what am I missing? Let's go back down to one. There's something here I didn't mess with. Uh, okay, I've already... I talked as much as I could with them. No one's home. I can't walk by Buddy. Lisa, I exasperated everything I say. I heard no one's home. What about them? Can we knock on the door again? You again? Why do you kids insist on making my life miserable? Please just leave me alone. Let's just torch the end. Grumble, grumble. Let's knock on it again. Does it just keep happening? Okay, so. That's that. Is it way for me to like end a day or something? Because we literally checked the whole house out. What was on two? I don't remember. No one's home. Charlie's on two. So, Miss Grumble is on 
one. Uh, Charlie's on two. That. See, there it goes right there. You see, a sound happens whenever you knock. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I need to find batteries for my Game Boy. My little Game Gear, or whatever it is. Maybe they're in. Maybe I can talk to this dude again. No. Let's see if I can't find batteries laying around here somewhere then. Why do I keep hearing static? This is stuff, nothing important. Dude, but we're literally trying to get batteries though. I'm so confused where I need. Oh, it's raining outside. That's what it is. Okay. I got it now. Uh, is there somewhere I can like move something? Fine. Because obviously I interacted with that right there. So there's got to be something I got to interact with around here. I never walked fully. There's only you only can go left and right. Okay. Thought maybe you could jump over somebody. I guess let's go back to four two four one. No one's home. Buddy's blocking because somebody got murdered. Let's go to three. I don't remember who's on three. Controls. What's this? Okay. Dude, there's literally somebody right there. No one's home. I can't walk by Lisa. I don't know what's going to happen there. Two is Charlie. Maybe we can go back to Charlie's place. See what Charlie's got going on. I can't walk by him. Yeah. Okay, we've already talked about that. There was something else. It said look. So you see it says look twice. Look. Look. Okay. I can't move this. Anything? No. Hey, Charlie's place is kind of like... Nothing to do there. No one's home. I guess looks like these new batteries now. Was I even supposed like does that even have anything to do with anything? There's gotta be a card or something somewhere, dude. Let's talk to this person again. Uh, okay, never mind. Can't walk by this dude. 104. So Addison and oh, what's her name? Mrs. Gibson is there. Okay. So what am I missing, dude? Somewhere at five, I gotta go. There's some up here in the creepy place. I need to go look. Locked. Oh my gosh, this is it right here. There's a small hole. I can't really see anything on the other side. Except for eyeball. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. So there's stuff we can interact with. Okay, you see, I didn't realize that. I thought it was just going to give you the option to interact with stuff. See, if that's the case, then we need to go around and start messing with everything, then. Bathroom door locked. I literally just spam A the whole time. Nothing's there. Still gives me, like, hard Michael Myers vibes. Like the uh, Rob Zombie spinoff version of it. Okay, nothing. Nothing, okay. 
now that I've realized that that you can literally just go and mess with everything even without a prompt I'm gonna start doing that boxes boxes like just literally spam it the whole time even without it I mean if you're gonna be able to if you're gonna do stuff like that like kind of like hide it from me maybe there's stuff in my room that I haven't seen I mess with the cat nothing there I feel like Charlie's room is something that I can get I feel like his room is not like even though we just talked to him he's the only one we can go into so if we can go to his into his room there's got to be something there that we can get so let's check it out uh they may do that no I'd rather not thought maybe he had batteries or something Wait, hold on. Maybe I go to three and see if I can't move the uh, the wet floor sign. I feel like that would be a good idea. No, can't do that. Maybe I can tell like, hey. Oh my gosh, this has been. How long have you been working here? Actually, I just don't work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24/7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite, despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. I'm going on 10 years now. Uh, it seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say? All kinds of stuff. I'm sure this building is well over 100 years old, you know. People always complain about one thing or another. But you all, you'll you hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about little things. You, can, you can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live. You know, you're right. Take it from me, you focus on good stuff, focus on what makes you happy in life. Put your energy into that. Okay, change subject. So, do you know anything what happened at 4 or 3? It's the same you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mr. Sanderson. Who's Mr. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on dreadful things. Is there anything to do fun for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll get so high grade. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You need a key cord to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Uh, is this building haunted? Sal, sweet. I've been taking care of Addison Apartments for a long time. I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people of reactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. All right, see you. See you around. Let's go talk to our son. Them staying in the basement, though, is crazy. Let's get up out of here. Let's go to the creek. Is it? Uh, actually, it's not creepy at all. 1B. Oh, this looks like a nice little spot. The bathroom. Dude, we're just, like, going through the whole place. Yo, what it was that? I don't, bro. Are we in the right spot? Larry's room. Yeah. Hey, yo, Larry. Your mom said I should come and say hi. I just moved in forward to. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh hey. Come on in. Doors open. Oh. Whoa. Nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh, sh sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used. To, I'm used to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So you like have no face under there, what happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry, I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal, my friends call me Sally Face. Just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face, I guess I didn't really have any decent friends to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes, oh, I didn't mean to say that word, couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange, I like you. We're gonna get along great. Hi, uh, that's what your mom said too. But the nose best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it causes, it's cause we gotta go out of the place from rats, but I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around, nice. Yes, yeah, I'm like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face, huh? I do have my own clo clothing line, so. Uh, it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's got to change. Check out this song. It's the first single. The full album comes out in a few months. Oh, 
All right. Bro, what is happening right now? <laughs> what are we doing? What is this game? What happened at 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. I do not know that. I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary stuff. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mr. Sanderson with the clock tool. I was just finishing up when I heard him busting, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done, Herman. Tell me everything, you stupid. Mm. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. Dude, I was shot. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough, huh? Uh, what's up with the guy on 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. I always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh, yeah, if you see Addison T, please and thank you. Uh, if you see... If you say Addison T, please and, please and thank you to him. He'll give you a cup of famous, famous tea. I did stuff myself, but adults seem to love it. All right, see ya. Okay, so it's finally over. All right. Radio. What's this thing? That's a, it's a police can. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How do you get this thing? That's a story for another day, but hey, just give me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak it a 403. Maybe we can find some some kind of evidence to show that it did have something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and I'm just messing with you. I'm to totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery. Hush situation. That should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that I'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta you gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We use my walkie talkies to communicate during the whole thing, then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with arm robbery at like a gas station drug store and make it a little more believable. Mm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this head of your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press the Y button here to, there to call me. Okay, cool. Let's look at the pain first. I like your pants. Thanks, too. It's my passion. Does he have any? Let's go to the living room. Can we go to his mom's room? No. Obviously, that'd be weird. Still. Who's the old people? Nothing in the bathroom? No. Can we go over? Oh, I thought the creepy monster was about to jump out again. Alright, well, we gotta go to our room. Let's see what's been happening. Can we get anything? Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry though. Anything off over here? No. Gee, I'm sure looking forward to using this. Not. I know Buddy is not talking to himself. Four. So we gotta go to our room. Call Buddy. Once he uh, calls it in, sprint out there. He gets his dog on thing. Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of folks upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if if you can get into four or three now, dude. This is actually wild. Why are we doing this, dude? I don't wanna sneak in. Yeah, bro, you are wild. The broken coffee table with some books looks look like anything important. Just looks like junk to me. All right, keep looking. Then there's gotta be something else. All right. Uh, man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Man, this is pretty okay. Same thing. There's these little figures, like the one is missing. I can see small a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. Let's say I know how we can get them and get out of there and come down to the basement. He's literally one of those crazy brony, brody dudes, or brony, or whatever it's called. 
Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mr. Sanderson got this super rare one or something she was telling me about the other day. I was fixing her to toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it in fact. I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offered her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something to sell him about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. That this guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you got to get in Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck in a 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks. Fatty. All right, all right. I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Ha ha, nah. I just watch too much TV. So I have a baggie now, okay? Maybe this, this dude could. Maybe he killed her. That would be kind of crazy. And he's the one that collects this stuff. All right, we're going to uh, number two. Number two, and going to Charlie's place. Maybe he won't. We're going to get called. I have a bad feeling about it. Uh, Be right back. Look, I know they're so cool, are they? Yeah. I can use to grab the pony toy from Charlie's room. Look, I know they're so cool, are they? Yeah. Sally Face, my man, good luck. I mean, how am I supposed to do it? I gotta find some way. Okay, we were right, yeah. Maybe there's gotta be a way for us to distract him. Let's see. Oh, I know. Maybe dad's moved. I can get the quarter, go to the vending machine, and uh, get uh, snacks for him to distract him. Because obviously Buddy's all about that. What's that noise? Oh, Buddy's gone. This is trying now, not drowning himself in booze, not totally giving up on life on me. Hey, a quarter score. I knew it. Check. Okay. So we're gonna get up out of here, go back down to the basement, give Charlie the snacks, and then we're good to go, dude. We literally got it. I'm too smart, man. I'm too smart for this stuff. I know it. Too easy. Let's see, vending machine. No, dude, this is for Charlie. Okay, maybe we give it to Charlie, and he goes and gets a snack. I, that makes more sense. Dio, I thought we would give it to him and he'd get, just get, you know, distracted by eating. Let's give it to him. A quarter I found on the floor, I'm, I'm sure he won't miss it. Okay. I'm confused what we use the quarter for now then. Maybe we go back up to five. Can we not go back into the other place? Wait, hold on. Maybe. No. I am mad confused right now. We let's go to one and talk to old buddy because he said you can get like famous tea or something, and all the adults love it. Uh, SD, please, thank you. Okay, so we got we got the tea. Maybe this would have struck. Maybe we can give this to old buddy. Go to two now. This place don't got stairs. I never trust elevators to be completely honest with you. Let's get this to old buddy. Okay, we can't get this. Uh, yeah, I just got some from. Oh, I just love S to give it here. Knew it. 
Ah, so tasty, so relaxing. Dang! I must doze up for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, so I was starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. Say, if you get any more ass and tea, I would love some more. Mr. Ass already cut me off for the day. Okay, so we gotta go get some more from him. Dude, like, he literally took no time to knock out. And then it took him no time to wake back up. This dude's gonna cut me off from Tito today. Give him another one. What if we give... I wonder how many times we gotta do this. Let's go back to Charlie. If he wakes up again, bro, I'm gonna know, like, this ain't the way to go. and We gotta give it to somebody else. Maybe Lisa? Got more tea from Essen. Wonderful. Ah, uh, so relaxing. I uh, must have done that for a second. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping. So I was starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, I'm glad. Say, if you need more tea, I would love some more. Mission has already cut me off for the day. Okay, so he keeps waking up. Uh, all right. Hey, come downstairs. Okay. So that's not working. So buddy's gonna try a different plan, I guess. I uh, still can't do it. Let's see what he's got to say to me. Yeah, Charlie, so my essence did great. I bet that put him right to sleep. He did, but only for a minute. Hmm, if only we can make it stronger somehow. Oh. All right, no sleeping pills. So this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chug put you up to this? No, I just got a weird feeling about it. who's Chug. The big kid on three usually can't miss him. But anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw him with my own eyes. Anyways, yeah, I guess so. Play. Uh, okay, later. I don't really want to bang my head. So get tea, sleeping pills, mix them together, knock them out cold, grab the toy, and dip. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're starting to get it. We're starting to get it. Starting to become pretty easy now. Everything's starting to flow. We hit a rock bottom on that one at one part, bro. I couldn't figure out what I'm afraid to do. And then you had to talk to old girl. And like at first I didn't know, like I thought that was the only thing we had to talk to her about. Sleeping pills. Make a man once I have something to mix it with. Oh, I need to grab tea first. Dude, this guy. Just take the pills. Why would you, why would you not do that? Well, I guess it makes more sense to stop and go to the freaking one. But it always starts you up at like the top at five, so. Team me. Team me. All right. We got T. Let's go to our room. And get um sleeping aid. And we're gonna knock Charlie out. And then call it a day. We get his toy and get gone. Not Sal's room. I guess he didn't want to take it and his dad realized it. This was not uh, the dude out for sure. Ah right, dang, we look like we just took everything. I don't think we're trying to kill the dude. Ugh. Sorry. Police came back in no time. When? Uh, no, he's on two. Go to Charlie and feed him this tea. I just knew for sure I had something going on with the what's his name. All right. It's fresh and hot. Well, maybe. I don't want to overdo it. I, I probably had at least 20 cups there. Are you positive? This is um, this is a new Ripsy mission as we're trying out. I had three cups and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even, oh, I have to try that. Giving you. Uh, this is better than his original. I don't know how he. <laughs> Got the toy score. All right, get gone. Dude's going to bust in and kill my dad. This kind of dude you don't play with. 
And we are actually playing with him right now. Alright, we got the toy. Where's Buddy's room at? Let's go talk to Buddy about it. Uh, I got the toy. Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal, I know you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to get do is give it to the detective and it'll be all over. I don't believe it. He's gonna catch me. There's no way he can catch me. I'll be on the first floor. I doubt this is going to, like, put him away, though. Hey, Detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I uh, look, I appreciate you kids trying to help. I do, but unless you got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. I got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. Then I talked to Charlie, and he was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. Thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? Nah, I'm not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Rem just remember next time you come to us with this info, I'm still putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir, you got it. We can keep going this way. What? Are we gonna leave the whole place now? Good word today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Oh, they don't lock them up. I mean, I swear I thought you were my friend. I don't trust it, bro. Charlie's gonna come back and get his dog. Bringing smiles to the dead. No one was around, so I looked in the in the back window of the van. Dude. That's freaked. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. 15 years old and you had already witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. I forgot that it was even a freaking flashback. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. Oh! After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I've said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school, we've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. There's no way good at asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. You understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. What did my face look like, dude? Wait, I, it's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. Dude, what? What did I do? I don't think you are a, you are a murderer, Sal. It might be the only one. Oh, that was episode one. I thought it was going to be longer than that. Okay. Like a lot, that's not bad. I enjoyed that. I'm definitely going to have to keep going with it. Um, That's sweet. I like that. That was cool. Pretty cool, short little game. Uh, That was episode one. So, obviously, they have dropped more. So, we got to find out what happens. I watched it before but i hardly remember it but i hope you guys enjoyed the video man if you haven't already like come subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one man peace